Hi guys, my name is Mama Dirtle and welcome back to Animal Facts. And we're back with part 11 of the 500 facts about the ocean world. Let's begin. 201. Not all squids are large. The Argentine short fins, short fin squid is quite small, measuring around one foot. Found off the coast of Argentina and Brazil, it lives in a in a dense group of group of individuals. The short fin squids live for a year, growing rapidly and de, and then producing once in their lives. A female can lay as many as 750,000 eggs on the seafloor at one time. 202. The octopus has a round body, six arms, two legs, and bulging eyes. Yeah, those, those aren't eight arms, six arms and two legs. They have powerful suction cups on their arms. They are very intelligent creatures and use a number of means to defend themselves, such as camouflage and ink e explosion. 203. There are few species as adept as camouflage as the Caribbean Reef Octopus. Not only can it change colors to match its surroundings, it can also work its skin and muscles to create the same texture. This predatory species can also become cannibalistic, especially when its ter territory is threatened. 204. There are over 2,000 species of shrimp. Well, some, are, some are so small that we cannot see them. They are found at the bottom of the ocean and oceans and riverbeds. They have a hard transparent shell which makes them nearly invisible in water. They they live in large groups of individuals called a school. Shrimps are uh, omnivorous, mainly feeding on algae, plankton, and tiny fishes. 205. Unlike most shelled invertebrates, the chambered na nautilus lives in water co columns of the ocean, open oceans and, and not on the reef surface or sea floor. When under threat, the Nautilus re retracts into its shell. Interestingly, it lives only on the outer chamber of the shell. The rest of the chambers are filled with air to keep it floating. 206. Found on the shores of Western Europe, the common limpet is actually a marine snail. It has a strong, muscular foot that forms such such strong attachment to rocks of its habitat that predators find it difficult to pick up. Its conical shell offers another layer of protection. The shell is hard, is hard and difficult to grip. 207. Some marine snails are eye-catching and colorful, such as the flamingo tongue. It is found on coral reefs in the Atlantic Ocean. The flamingo tongue is named so because of its colors, pink and pink or orange with black spots. The colors come from the soft tissue that covers its shell. 208. At one and a half feet in length, the giant triton is one of the largest marine snails. It is an aggressive hunter detecting its prey through its excellent sense of smell. It is the only natural predator of the reef-destroying crown dwarf starfish. Hence, it is considered important in preventing outbreaks of crown of thorn starfish. 209. Found in the Indo-West Pacific Ocean, the tiger prawn is an, in, is an invasive species highly valued to see as seafood. The female lays thousands of eggs which hatch, qu which hatch quickly. Like lobsters, the shell covering the body of, of a tiger prawn is a skeleton. It's a skeleton which it sheds regularly as it grows in size, also known as exoskeletons. This is an omnivorous creature and eats a variety of food. 210. Did you know that the combined weight of the Antarctic krill is more than that of humans on Earth? 
The krill is vital to the marine ecosystem because, because of its role in the food chain. It is placed near the bottom of the marine food chain as it feeds on phytoplankton and is the main food source of, of, of a number of ocean creatures. Ocean fishes 211 Found in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, salmon is prized as a seafood, yet it is actually born in fresh water after, after which it migrates to the sea. It returns to the fresh water to, to breed. In the process, some salmon species travel 7,000 feet upstream. Some subspecies stay on in fresh water. Salmon feeds on salmons feed on insects, invertebrates, shrimps, and other fish. Two hundred eleven. The sockeye salmon is among the smaller salmon species. Like other salmons, they are born in fresh water. But unlike other salmons, ju juvenile sockeye stay on in fresh water for for three years. Sea going sea going sockeyes are silver colored. But as they swim upriver, they turn bright red with a greenish head. 213. The Chin Uk salmon is the largest, the largest among the salmons found in the, in the Pacific region with a length of 4.5 feet and weighing 55 kilograms. During its life in the ocean, the Chin, chin Uk salmon focuses on feeding and storing energy. At maturity, it can swim thousands of miles upstream to their breathing areas. To their breeding areas, so difficult is the journey that the salmon die immediately after laying their eggs. Two hundred fourteen. Did you know that it is the male seahorses that give birth? The male seahorse ha has a brood pouch in it in which the female deposits its eggs. The male releases the juvenile seahorse after the egg hatches. Clearly, the seahorse's body shape is is not in is not its only usual feature. Did you know? Unlike most other fish, it also mates for life. Two hundred fifteen. Living in the deep sea, the oar fish is rarely seen. In fact, the only time we have seen it is. Is when it gets washed up sh on shores, dead or nearly dead. It is the longest bony fish, with some individuals reported as long as 50 feet and, and 272 kilograms in weight. It has a it has a long, narrow body with silver-colored scales and red fins. 216. The red snapper is an aggressive predator and eats almost every every fish smaller than it. They are voracious feeders with with large mouths and sharp teeth. Most red snappers travel in in dense schools. The most well-known variety of red snapper is the northern red snapper. Found in the Gulf of Mexico, it reaches over 3 feet in size. 217 at 8 feet in length and 320 kilograms in weight, it is easy to see how the Atlantic Goliath grouper got its name. It lives along mangrove forests and coral reefs of the Atlantic Ocean where it, where it is one of the largest predators. It has a large mouth which it uses to create pressure, sucking, it, sucking in its prey and swallowing it whole. 218. The world's most venomous fish is the stonefish, but the venom is used as a defense mechanism. It emits the venom through its dorsal spine when under threat. The stonefish is also a, a master of disguise. It lies on the, on the bottom of coral or rocky reefs and it looks exactly like its substrate. In some cases, it even has algae growing on it. 219. Found in the cold ev everons of the Pacific and Al Atlantic Oceans, codfish is valued highly as food. It, us it usually stays near the ocean bottom. The size and lifespan of the cod depends on its feces. 
Cods are highly valued as food because they are rich. Or they are a rich source of vitamin E, A, D, as well as o, as omega three fatty acids. Two hundred twenty. Like many bony fishes, the swordfish starts out as a tiny larva, and then grows rapidly to become one of the largest bony fishes, weighing around six hundred fifty kilograms. Some grow eye as much as a, a million times. Perhaps the most distinctive feature of the swordfish is its long sword-like bill. It uses the sword to stun its prey when hunting. And guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Bye!